Welcome back. Let's get things rolling after this morning. We have snow that's falling across the viewing area. Here's a little over in Winelander. This camera's on the roof of Mel's trading post. And not much in the way of any plowing happening just yet in downtown Winelander, but the plows are out. They're working on the roads, and those roads will begin to improve with the snow tapering off and the plows doing what they need to do. Winter weather advisories are getting trend back. They're still up till about 9 a.m. for these counties highlighted here because of the snow that is still falling out there this morning. Adams County's winter storm warning has since expired, but looking off towards the north and west. Here's another general idea here that there's another system on the way. A winter storm watch that is posted and that will last through Monday morning. We'll see upgrades and expansions as we do get closer. But otherwise though, here's a general idea. We still have snow that's developing after this morning. We can see it on the radar, especially near Green Bay. And it's falling near Rylander as well. Just the radar has a hard time kind of seeing the snow sometimes just because of the distance from the radar over to where the snow's falling in our neck of the woods. Let's zoom things out right now and give you the bigger picture. So here's low pressure here. Track it off towards the north and east. We have high pressure right behind it, so we'll calm down for a bit. Unfortunately, the clouds will not break up, but we'll at least calm down for a bit before another system off toward the west tracks off towards the north and east, and that'll give us our next opportunity for snow that will begin to move in and some decent snow accumulation Saturday night lasting through Monday morning. So here's Futurecast right here. The last of the snow will be getting out of here during the morning and early afternoon period, maybe a few leftover flurries. The clouds pretty much holding on pretty much through the forecast period, even through Saturday as well. So we'll start Saturday off fine. Maybe some snow off toward the west, but then as we head towards Saturday evening, that's when things start to change. Before we get to that, Here's what we're seeing this morning. So about another inch or less before we're all finished up, mainly along the line from Rhinelander down toward the south. Off toward the east, maybe another inch and a half possible before it starts to taper off. And this is additional snowfall on top of what we've already seen. But now the next system that's going to be moving in will be moving in from the west going toward the east. Kicking in later on this evening here, or excuse me, later on Saturday evening and moving in from the west toward the east. So here's Saturday at 6 o'clock. And this is that first round of it, and we'll be seeing another round of it getting going as we head towards Sunday evening as well. So pretty much a good amount of snow moving in between these two waves. And then once we get towards Monday morning, maybe a few leftover lake effect snow showers, but most of it will start to taper off as we head towards Monday morning. Here's our first general idea and what we're looking at here for snow accumulations here for Saturday night through Monday. So five to eight inches possible before we're all finished up. Snowmobilers and skiers will be loving this and we'll be fine tuning this forecast as we do progress forward. Temperatures right now are in the 20s here across the northwest with even some upper 20s further down to the south. So the snow that's falling this morning, not melting anytime soon, at least this morning. We will make it close to freezing, so maybe melting a little bit later this afternoon. Morning snow, then mostly cloudy by the afternoon. Northeast wind at about 20 miles per hour. By tonight, here we are, 15 degrees, mostly cloudy. Northeast wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven-day forecast. There is the afternoon snow game going on Saturday with highs in the lower 30s. Continuing Saturday night with a decent amount of snow on Sunday. The time change also Sunday as 2 a.m. becomes 3 a.m. Snow lingers through Monday before we dry out Tuesday and Wednesday. And then more rain and snow as we head towards your Thursday.